the, oh, I need to do uh, that plastic wrap. I already have it cut out there. Hey guys, I know that I canceled the live because we had something come up. Then we went into town, came back. I didn't do the live with you guys because it takes a lot of, um, I was in a hurry to be honest with you. And I didn't have time to be like, hey guys, and just be like talking. I didn't want to be rude. So instead of being rude, I said, I'm just going to go make it all when I'm on the finishing parts. Okay. So I am going to go live with you guys to make this. I just am at, this is where I'm at right now, y'all. So, um, this is a, a, a towel, a cheese, anything you have. I've used parchment paper. And then you powder lots of powdered sugar on the on the towel because that's where it's gonna be then you we're gonna go through all of this with you guys but I just wanted to show you like these are the finishing steps of it and then if you could get that uh, saran wrap right there and bring it over and I'm gonna wrap it in that okay. while we there you go you can move that one first nope you oh. wanna move that one Thank you. It's okay. Oh, that didn't go as planned. Holy smokes. <laughs> That's why I didn't want to. <laughs> oh, Lord. Okay, now it's a little too long to be holding my hands. Okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as the live button goes, it always uh, goes to shit. Let me put it down. No, just put it on there. There you go. <laughs> Try not to handle it so much because it does it's like it's got filling in it. So... This is the uh, the powdered sugar that was on the towel. It's not a big deal, you guys. This is exactly what I told Joe. If for whatever reason it didn't work out, it's probably been a, a good year since I made it. If the cake didn't work, if the powder, if you guys, it's just baking. It's okay. I mean, it's I know only Joe. Baking. <laughs> I the mean, hardest it's hardest shit to do in the world. It is, but I mean, I don't <laughs> want anybody to feel discouraged. And I don't, I mean, I don't take it. My mom, you know what, you guys, my mom took it very seriously growing up. Like, if it didn't work out, I mean, mad. she would be mad if the crust didn't work. So I have, that's kind of why I didn't want to bake, because I was like, she took it so serious. And I said, no, I want to have fun in the kitchen. So that's why I kind of am real laid back about baking. So I'm going to do this until we get there. Once I get there, I'll cut off the ends, and then I'll slice the middle. Just because it makes it pretty? Just because it makes it pretty. I'm going to stick it back in the fridge. Once it comes out, you guys, you got to move really, 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 really fast. Um, you take it out of there, you unroll it. Out of the and oven? Out of the, no, 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 yeah, okay. From the time you take it out of the oven, you have to have your powdered sugar, this ready, with powdered sugar. I sift mine, and I put a lot of powdered sugar. I flip it onto the this towel. Down. Then I roll it up. While it's upside down, I pull the cookie sheet off or the, uh, the jelly roll pan. Peel off the parchment paper. It won't work if you don't have parchment paper. You need parchment paper. Then I take the jelly roll pan move, take peel off the parchment paper. Then I get the towel that I had. The prepared towel is what I'm going to just call it. Then you kind of fold it in and then you roll it. And I put it like this in the fridge for, I don't know, it's probably been there for 40, 45 minutes, cooling off. You can leave it cooled on your counter. I put mine in the fridge, finished getting ready. Fast forward, I made my, my, I, I made my frosting while it was cooling. Um, I stuck it back in the fridge. We're in Texas, you guys, everything's hot here, even if you're in a house. So put it in there while it waited, got ready. And now I'm, uh, took this off. I'm putting it in here to transport it. Um, after that, I'm gonna uh, I unroll it because you have to put your cream cheese frosting. It's one block of cream cheese, one stick of real butter. You can't use margarine. It has to be real butter. And I put a teaspoon of vanilla and then one cup of powdered sugar. That's my cream cheese filling. Then I unroll it. You have to have it all ready to go. So then you unroll it. Grab your, if you have an offset uh, knife, it's best, but I have a scraper or a rubber spatula and a butter knife. I unroll it, spread it out. Once it's spread out, then you move, like you start rolling it back. Sometimes if Joe's here, he'll hold the 
towel down because it's now like uh, moisture that caught on, you know, like it's picking up the powdered sugar and it's rolling, rolling, rolling. Move the, pow the towel with powdered sugar, saran wrap. I thought it was gonna go a little bit smoother, but um, I was just gonna watch, have you guys watch me spread it roll it and wrap it up but it, things just got a little carried away just now um but i'm gonna make it with you guys i just didn't have time to do it like if you guys tell me right now you'd be like oh my god man um but i am gonna um i am going to make it with you guys but we got home at uh, let's see one o'clock and it's 1 45 and i'm already done i mean i came in the door made it quick and put it in there it was in by 110 it was out by 120 because it's only like 12 minutes it's in the oven it's a very quick uh, sheet cake because it's so thin um got it filled we got to be gone in about four minutes so i'm gonna let you guys go i would you guys would like gag if you saw look Jeez. my hair is crazy <laughs> so i'm sorry hey sophia hey milltown it does i'm trying really hard you made a swiss roll before oh I want to make the um, a Yule a Yule log I think it's called where it's like chocolate with the icing in there and then a ganache over the top or a hardened chocolate. That is my next one I want to do. So I am sorry you guys are looking at me like this. I wanted you guys to see some of it. Um, the rolling part. Some people might be gone by the time of that. They might see just the beginning on my other one. Look at oh my god. Okay, I'm out of here, you guys. Um, we are going to, you guys, we're, okay, this is going to sound really rude, but it's not rude. We're going to go and taste, test. We're having, oh, it's hard to explain. I'll tell you guys about it on the way there. We're going to have a live in about an hour, hour and a half. And it's about people's food when they grew up. And the people are my family. Because they're bringing something that they grew up with. And it's just going to be kind of cool to see what they grew up with in their age or their era or whatever. So, you guys set your notifications on. We'll be live in about one and a half hours. I love you guys. Hold on.